The reason why I don't like current mage items. So, they did good job and bad job, okay? So good jobs are, in my opinion, amplifying tome, uh, blasting one giving slightly more AP, needlessly larger one giving more AP. Those were the good parts about mage items. The bad parts, in my opinion, are the, all the mana items. So we're talking about Malignance, Seraph, and we're talking about the third one, which is Luden's Companion, okay? All these items feel very underwhelming for a lot of reasons, like Malignant's Hate Fog, the passive does no damage, completely useless. Seraph, the problem is they nerf the item, so it gives you less ability power on the passive. So even though this, is, this was supposed to be like a scaling item, so like what separated Seraph from like current Seraph compared to old Seraph was that old Seraph was like a scaling item, you were weaker early with it, but then it gave you a more, ba like more AP, much more bigger AP number than the other items. So it definitely felt like a scaling option. This one doesn't feel that way anymore. And I also think Lifeline uh, of Seraph, while it's sometimes good, a lot of times it's very useless because you don't proc the Lifeline when you want it to proc, it procs automatically once you drop below 30% or whatever. Then, then you have uh, Luden's Companion. This item feels really bad because this, the, the short chargers on the passive do no damage whatsoever, they have bad scale, they do no damage, and, and they proc too often, and the cooldown is like nothing on them. So the item, you don't feel the power of the item, okay? You don't feel it. While the, the previous Luden, even though I didn't like the proc of the Luden, at least you felt the proc more. This one, you just feel like mini procs all the time, and it, it just feels underwhelming, okay? So those three items I do not like. Then I don't like the addition of Storm Surge. While I understand it's a fantastic item for a lot of champions, and champions love it, the problem I have with the item is that it's very snowbally, it's very hard to balance, it fits certain champions that don't use mana very well so they can rush it, and on top of that it gives moose speed, okay? I'm not opposed to items giving moose speed, but I'm opposed to this item giving moose speed. The reason why I liked the previous system better is because you, you had Leech Bane for moose speed, which only a certain champions fit with it, and then you had Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive was an item balanced around giving you moose speed, but you weren't getting anything else. Now this storm search, it gives you magic pen, raw AP, moose speed. I just don't like moose speed being so easily accessible to so many champions. Moose speed is just an OP stat. I don't like Banshee, Zonia, Shadow Flame. This three, okay. So Rabadon, while I understand why the item is like this and it's hard to achieve this build path, it's okay. They nerfed it by 5%, but it's still an okay item. I don't like this trio. Why don't I like this trio? Because it, they have really weird build paths. I, I, I think this for long term of the game is, is really weird to me, okay? So first of all, Verdant Barrier is a mini Banshee now. I'm not kidding, it's a mini Banshee. I was watching like Fanatic versus uh, Heretics, no, versus Vitality yesterday. Uh, the matchup mid lane was Azir Zarat. Azir bought Nasher and then he bought Verdant Barrier on second item. He literally had a Banshee wheel. Right? Like, how is Zara supposed to play against this? This is, this item is ridiculous in some cases. I don't like the build path. I think this, like, components like this should never cost this much, okay? I much prefer the other version of Barrier, um, in general. This item feels too expensive, the build path to me is very bad. I, I, I don't know, I just don't like it. Same goes for Shadow Flame, okay? It's kind of hard to fit it in the build when you have items like... Storm Surge, and you have like so many other items that you would rather buy. I don't know, to me the item is kind of weird, I don't even know how strong it is. Uh, like also Magic Pen, like I don't like items that give you Magic Pen that much anymore because stacking Magic Pen got so much worse, you don't have Ludens anymore that give you Magic Good Pen night, and this and that. Sir. Top 3 adds PLS. Then, I am a big hater of Zonia, okay? I'm a big hater of Zonia. I thought Zonia was kind of balanced last year, not gonna lie. The problem with Zonia was stopwatch. Removing stoppage, good job, Riot. What did you? No, not really. Like, you kind of removed it, but you also added Seeker's Arm Guard, which is a stopwatch. Okay. So, first of all, Zonia should be slightly cheaper. It should probably give you less stats. And then, in my opinion, Seeker's Arm Guard should just not be a stopwatch. It should just be like a thousand gold like it was before. And then, once you complete our Zonia, you should get a stopwatch. Zonia needs to be in the game because it's a layer of counterplay towards a lot of champions like Fizult and Zadult and whatever. 
I think the item is perfectly fine on AP Champions. It should obviously give you less stats than like other AP items. You should buy Zonia primary for the actor. You should lose stats, right? You should not get as many stats. That should be the weakness of the item. That was the weakness of the item last year. The Zonia was very expensive last year already, but now it's even more expensive. So it's even harder to build. Roll of Ages, while it is better than last season, I again, I still am, I'm really pushing Riot. Please remove the level up. The level up on Road of Ages is just bad, okay? It doesn't make sense, okay? You want Road of Ages, you want, you want champions to rush Road of Ages so it stacks up ASAP, right? But then you have a level up passive, which is less rewarding the faster you buy the item. Because level ups are more rewarding the later you level up into the game. I don't understand. You guys added a rune that gives you a skill point. So you already have one thing that like you can boost your champion to get uh, faster skill points. Road of Ages does not need level up. What I would like Riot to do is reduce Road of Ages by 100 gold to make it 2.5k, which used to be many years ago, and then you remove the level up, okay? I really do think Catalyst of the Eons should lose some stats and be 1200 gold, same as Lost Chapter. Last chapter was very OP last year. They they put it on to 1200 gold, which I think is totally fair. It used to be 1300. I think this is a this is a fair change. I don't mind it being nerfed. Um, so I think Catalyst of the Eon should be the same cost as last chapter, 1200, losing some stats. Last thing is the current Lianji, in my opinion, feels bad. Why does it feel bad? Because if you compare the stats and the passive burn compared to uh, years ago when Lianji was in this uh, in the game, which also didn't give mana. Um, the stats back then were way better on Leonji, okay? Uh, the Madness passive was 10% uh, damage amp instead of 6%, and the burn is, I think, right now 1%, but in the past it was higher. I'm, like, convinced it was higher. So, um, this item should be in the game. It's a very good item. Now, uh, it's, good, it's good that it doesn't give mana anymore because more people can use it. More champions can use it. Like, manaless champions can actually buy it now. This is a good thing. The problem with the item is... I think it just needs like better burn because you should really be itemizing this against high HP targets. But right now it do just doesn't feel like it. I do think mage penetration into tanks have gotten way worse this season. First of all, removing Lianji from your mythic item or like item you rush by default and Lianji is now weaker makes it so you have a harder time doing against mages. Voice stuff is literally nerfed. I don't know why they did that. Voice stuff was pretty bad last year already. Now it's even worse. And then this Crib, uh, crib Bloom item, while it's a, like a, a bit of a weaker Void stuff that gives you more haste and the heal, it's not gonna help you kill tanks, you know? Like, Void stuff is just better at that, and... Yeah, I, I think Void stuff needs to have either a 100 or 200 gold reduction. Honestly, I, I do think so. At least a 100. I think Void stuff deserves to be a 100 gold cheaper.